Steve Mielhausen here with WWE commentator and Hall of Famer Booker T. And Booker, what brings you to Chicago? And along with Jerry the King Lawler. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, just go out here, uh, you know, mingle with some of my fans, man. That's been, you know, Rav wanted to see me for so many years. You know, it's always good to go to them, you know, instead of them having to come to me. I got your book and everything, and your book was absolutely fantastic. And is there, do you want to do a third one, or is it just two when done? No, I still uh, have a lot more room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe even more. Uh, I may even want to go, um, you know, a fiction, you know, um, after, you know, a while. But um, right now, I did still have one more book. Um, I have my, um, my wrestling school I've had for 10 years. I have my own wrestling promotion that I've had for six years. Um, I have my own television show. I have my um, radio show, Heated Conversation, that comes on every Saturday night. There's still so many layers of the book that we have to pull back, you know. What do you want to write a fiction book about? Well, um, actually, my fiction book is going to be coming out. One of my fiction books is going to be coming out next month. G.I. Bro, my comic book, will be hitting the shelves uh, next month. Um, it's something I always want to do. Um, I got so many adventures in my head. You know, um, I was a big fan of the Shaw Brothers Library, and uh, Bruce Lee was one of my, uh, you know, one of my biggest, you know, guys that I watched coming up. And um, now I get a chance to be those guys. <laughs> yeah, I heard you talking UFC a little bit with the person next to you and what was that like at WrestleMania with UFC champion Ronda Rousey at the show? Oh man, it's uh, always good to have a cross promotion, of course. Um, Ronda Rousey being the biggest name in uh, the UFC right now. I mean, above all the men, Ronda Rousey is the biggest name, you know. So her to make an appearance at WrestleMania was great. Hope you see a little bit more of uh, the Rowdy one. You think uh, you think you see her in the ring just because she's expressed that that was something she would like to do and she said there is a good chance she would like to get in there. Do you think she wrestles? You know, um, I see Ronda doing what she does um, in the UFC. She does it better than anybody. Um, I don't see her coming to a WWE ring. I don't think she would have any fun at all in a WWE ring. You watch UFC? I'm a big, big fan. You know, um, I talk um, UFC every week. Actually, um, I had Anthony Rumble Johnson on my show last week. A couple of weeks before that, I had Demetrius Johnson, who will be fighting tonight. Are you watching tonight, uh, Booker? I will be watching tonight. I'm uh, watching Demetrius go out there and do his thing just one more time. And um, hopefully he will continue to be the reigning flyweight champion. Who's your favorite fighter? You know, I don't have a favorite fighter or anything like that. I just like watching sports. Um, UFC, I've been watching it since the early 90s, since Horace Gracie pretty much uh, revolutionized the fight game. You know, a guy who went out there one weight class and fought this weight class all the way up to super heavyweight. Um, you know, I just love the sport, love the competition. You see the parallels with MMA, the UFC and WWE, and do you wish there'd be more cross promotion between you guys? Just like what Ronda did for you guys, and maybe have some someone from you from WWE go over to UFC. Do you think? Well, we got CM Punk. <laughs> He's, he's over there, just just so, if I don't know if you said hi to him, but he's over I there. Said, uh, I haven't said hi to him yet, but you know, we got to see a bug who's making this big um, UFC debut sometime in 16, um, as we have uh, heard uh, thus far. Uh, Brock Lesnar, of course, went over and did his thing. Bobby Lashley, another one who went and tried his luck. We wish Kurt Angle would have, you know, uh, gave it a shot. But I tell you, uh, you know, um, it's good the way we're doing it right now. UFC and WWE is two different animals. What do you make of, is that something you wish you would have done, you know, earlier in your career when, you know, UFC wasn't popular in the 90s, you know, even in, you know, the early 2000s, it still wasn't making a lot of noise, but is that something on the bucket list you wish you would at least try? No, you know, um, you know, that's not something um, I would want to do. I mean, you got to have a certain mentality to step in, uh, inside the icon of that cage. That world right there is just something totally different uh, for, you know, uh, someone just to want to go out there and do. Um, you gotta have a lot of testosterone. You gotta have, um, you know, something going on in your life to make you want to do that right there. For me, um, I didn't see that. Um, if anything, I would have been a fugitive, uh, prize fighter, a boxer. You know, uh, 
Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was my idol. You know, those guys made the, the big, big bucks. You know, Muhammad Ali got paid five million dollars for a fight in 1975. I don't know if uh, many UFC fighters are making that right now. There's maybe one or two. Maybe. <laughs> Who wins, Mayweather or Pacquiao? Um, Pacquiao um, is gonna come out there and do his best, but I think Mayweather's gonna go out there and beat him in all factions of the fight. You know what I mean? I think he's gonna be a better defensive fighter. I think he's gonna be a better offensive fighter. Um, I think uh, even if he, if he got into a brawl, I think Mayweather will uh, even win that due to the clinch. So um, I think uh, Mayweather's gonna win that fight due to anything catastrophic. You're spending the hundred dollars in each D to watch the show. Um, you know, um, or you go, or you spend the hundreds of thousands of dollars in going to the fight. Well, I'll be watching the fight, um, you know, regardless of how much it costs. You know, um, I'm an employee of CBS Radio. I could actually be at the fight, covering the fight, if I wanted. to. Oh, uh, why aren't you covering it then? Well, I got. Uh, I'll run it. <laughs> Uh, but I will be covering um, uh, Canelo Alvarez and uh, James Kirkland. Because it is in Houston at the uh, Minute uh, Maid Field. Houston, so I will be covering that fight. Canelo or Kirkland? Uh, Canelo, I'm going to win that fight due to uh, certain reasons. You know, I think Ann Wolf not being there is going to play a big part in James Kirkland's performance. Um, I don't think he's the same fighter without her. You know, um, I think it's a, a, a big, big reason why she's not there. Last fight Kirkland lost, it was on a Canelo Alvarez promotion. So I think, um, you know, Golden Boy don't want to see Ann Wolf nowhere near the mini main arena. Final topic Extreme Rules here in Chicago tomorrow night. I'll be at the show as well. And what match are you looking forward to tomorrow night? There's a lot of good matches on the show. Uh, Rusev uh, versus John Cena. You know, uh, United States Championship, the championship that I brought to the WWE. Um, Rusev has been a guy that's been unstoppable up until his last outing. So I'm looking to see if Rusev can go back out there and uh, reclaim dominance in the, uh, in the WWE. What do you make of Roman Reigns? Everyone really sandbagged him in a, in a, in a big way, you know, leading into WrestleMania. And it seems like the fans are finally getting behind him. What do you make of that whole situation leading up to Mania? You think it was just that small my, vocal minority, and well, uh, now everyone seems to be on the side of Roman Reigns. They have their own opinion, you know, and it's good, you know, for um, a, a wrestler, a superstar like Roman Reigns to actually hear, the, you know, the voices of the, uh, of the people. We look at John Cena; he handles it very, very well. It doesn't, it doesn't bother him at all to get booed in any arena. And um, Roman Reigns is going to have to learn that over the years, over the time, he's going to learn. His exactly what it takes to go out there and perform at a high level and that means in the ring as well as out there. Have you talked to him about that just as a veteran just to be like you know you've been in that big spot before have you given him given him any tips? The biggest tip I gave Roman Reigns was uh, he's a right-handed fighter you know he punches with his right hand to make sure he holds the microphone in his left hand. Booker thank you for the time. Thank you very much.